now right after that we will say catch so in case if there will be any error if it catch it then we will do show some error dialog so right after in here call the brushes and right in there you will set the set state and in there semicolon take this down and in here whenever it will catch the error so we will simply set the is loading to false that's fine so for showing the error dialog first we will simply go and implement the error dialog and then we will come back right in here and show that so simply now first we will close that global variables dot dot and right in the services folder right click and create a new dot file and we will name this as a global underscore method so press enter in here now so right in here first let's implement the class by the name of global method you guys can see now in here we'll say static white and we're gonna name this as a show error dialog we're gonna implement that so right in here we will say required I'm just gonna take the string type error and also we will say required I'm gonna take the build contacts contacts short form CTX and now call the brushes right in here as you guys can see take this down now right in there we will say show dialog there we go it's gonna take some properties as you guys can see we will remove that for now we will add it one by one in here semicolon take this down and the first one is contacts to contacts cdx and then it's gonna take the builder right in there contacts and now in there we will simply return the alert dialog in which we will simply first set the title and there is going to be a widget children and right in the children we will do some pairing first for that to make it in a proper shape so pairing add insect as usual we will go with the dot all there we go we will set to add final and right after child now we will set the icon so in here we will say icon and right in there we will say icons dot logout let's find right in here and then we will set the color we are going to set the colors dot gray and right after let's set the size for that we are going to set it to 35 let's find right in here now in here put comma first with this padding as you guys can see now right down below in here we will do padding again okay we will remove that in here put comma first and tag this down let's do repairing now edge insect we will go with all again with 8.0 now this will be simply for the tax that we will show right whenever the error will be occurred so in here child and let's have a tax widget in which we will simply now 
write that tax error okay it's fine right in here put comma first now below this row what we will do we will say content and then write tax right in the tax we will simply say dollar sign first and then you know, that arrow okay that one that we just created so in here error and we're gonna do some styling for that so as usual text term as you guys know add in the text term first we will set the color and we will set the colors set the spelling right in here we will go with the colors dot black black would be good and then font size you will set it to 20 that's fine put comma and then we will set the font style font style we will go with the italic one that's fine right in here now we will go towards the text button now we will create right in the show error dialog and it's going to be okay so we will implement that now so for that we will simply go below this text and we will say action and right in the actions we will say text button in here we will remove that for now we will edit one by one so text button put comma first tag this down so it's going to take the on press event you will leave this empty we will work on that just in a while first we will go and just say child in here tax we're gonna have a tax for that ok button so in here we will say ok that's fine let's do some style text style we will just set the color for that so colors we will go with the red one because it's going to be right in the show area dialog so that's fine now simply we will clean the code from this yellow line so in here add the const modifier you guys can see it's gone now to the text tile and right in here to this text all is gone now right in here there is a unnecessary string that we add there is no need of that but it will cause not any error it will work just the same but we will remove that that's fine right in here now simply we will work right in this on press event what we will do we will say or we can simply go towards the login screen as you guys can see right in here login screen dot dot and copy this from here go towards the global methods dot dot and in here paste it so if any kind of dialog happens and you guys can see in here if it can pop then right in if you will remove that with the help of this navigator dot pop and else if it's not happen then we will do nothing so in here it's just a null so that's fine and all the working has been done and in here we will simply it's import that library by default so we will remove that there is no need of that and all good you guys can see right in here now you can simply go and use that show air dialog we successfully implement that let me close that first now we are here in the login screen dot dot so below right down in here we will say global method dot show error dialog so this is going to take the error so in here you will say error you will convert it to string 
So in here dot to string and it's gonna tag the contacts. In here we will say contacts. So in here we will receive that. Let me show you that right in the global method in here as you guys can see error and the contacts right in the global method so that's fine now let us go further and say friend in which we will simply show some text error okay now in here dollar sign and we will say error there we go and then semicolon all good and right after everything will be done then we will simply say right in here set stat and here semicolon take this down in which we will simply say is loading equals to false all good and if you guys want to remove that yellow line that's not an error as you guys know we will simply ignore that for this okay there we go all good now all the working for this submit form on login method has been done already so we will go and use that method now so we will go towards the login and write in the on press event there we go with the login tags and there we go with the on press so right in here we will remove that and we will say underscore submit the method that we just created just call upon that right in here right in the on press event so whenever the user will click on this login button it will simply submit the login form and it will do the authentication for the email and password which we just implement right in this method and all of the working now simply we will come here and hold reload it so whenever the user will click right in here as you guys know it will submit it for now I will leave this as empty because we didn't create any account yet so right in here click on this login and you guys will notice the error there we go i hope you guys can notice that please enter a valid email address and please enter a valid password and we implement that design right in the previous videos right in the login let me show you that right in here for the password there we go okay the error border will be red so in here you guys can see for the password and also for the email the error border is in red and there we go with the text please enter a valid email address and there we go in a red color and also for the password you guys can see right in here so it's working totally fine now just for testing purposes I will enter just any email in here and let's just see and enter any password now click on this login there we go and there we go with the error dialog that we created so they say user not found no user record corresponding to this identifier the user may have been deleted because we didn't create any account for that email yet so it's working totally fine and that error dialog we implemented right in the global method already and you guys know about that in here show error dialog so there is a logout icon as you guys can see right in here logout icon with a gray color and all of the working right in here for example error occurred and there we go with that and there we go with the ok button in a red color 
so now you guys can get the idea of all the working and this is that R down the message from here so simply close that and write in the method submit login that one in here we receive it it in here the error and we just print it and I have already explained that in detail so all the working is fine let's click OK in here and that's fine right in here now we will simply remove that from here and also this one and basically that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further right in this login screen